Here in this video, I am going to share my experience with Movavi Video Editor after three months of usage. I will show you how convenient the smart AI features of this video editor is, and they really work or not. By the end of this video, you will know if this editor is for you or not, and if you have decided to go with Movavi, there is 50% discount code for you. So watch the whole video. Before going into much into detail, let me introduce the editor in brief. This is the first look of the editor. It has three main sections. The first one here contains all of your media. The second section shows you the preview, and the third section is your timeline. Here you can add your files, drop them on the timeline, and then use the tools to edit your videos. Then you get some other tabs, like this project files, consists all the files you have added, then the sample videos, backgrounds, and intro videos. Then on the sidebar, you get several tabs like music, titles, transitions, effects, and filters, stickers, effects pack, and then collections of other tools. You can use these tools to add depth in your videos. To edit the videos, simply drag and drop the media on the timeline, which has multiple tracks. After adding the media, you can see the live preview by hovering the mouse on it. This is your playhead, which you can place and can perform edits. This is your split tool. To use it, you have to select the clip and then use it. However, if you want to perform several cuts, like we have to do initially in all clips to remove the unrequired portions, this blade tool comes into the picture. Once activated, you can hover the mouse, see the preview, perform the cuts, then remove all the unnecessary parts. For me, it has been a most useful tool as I have to remove unnecessary items from almost all clips, and I am sure it is going to be useful for you as well. If you don't want to use the mouse, almost everything has a keyboard shortcut speeding the whole editing process. Like, I can jump to one frame back and forth using the left and right arrows, and jump to the next or previous clip using the up and down arrows. All of the tools work perfectly. I am not going to demonstrate all of them as this isn't a tutorial. I have mentioned this just because it was very useful for me. Let's discuss some other important and key features of Movavi Video Editor. First of hand, when I heard about the AI features, I thought it might be some gimmick, but I was wrong. Those mentioned AI features really work, and they are useful. The AI tracking automatically tracks the movement and places your image, sticker, text, and other items. In other editors, you have to manually do this sometimes frame by frame. For example, I want to put this sticker on the waving hand of the character. So what I will do, I will put the sticker position it in the hands and then go to the motion tracking tab, then put this frame around the object. Now select the method, which is AI tracking, click on track, and that's it. You don't have to do anything. It will automatically track and put the stickers on the hands. Similarly, the AI background removal tool also works effortlessly. For example, in this clip, I want to remove the background so that I can place it in front of some other clip. Let's put the clip below this one, then select it and go to the background removal. We get quick and precise tool. I select the precise and then click on remove. Well, you can see within a few seconds, it has removed the background very well. So you don't have to record every video on the green screen and use the chroma key. Another useful feature of the Movavi video editor is the automatic subtitles. You have to select the clip that has the audio and click on this CC icon on the toolbar. This feature works for several languages. You can leave it on the auto detection and then you have the option to select single line or double line subtitles. That's it. Now click on the generate button and it will put the captions on the video. If there is something not correct, you can even edit it, although it has effectively generated everything. You also have the design tab to change the appearance of the subtitles. You can change the position, font, size, color, and background. The Movavi video editor comes with several inbuilt media like backgrounds, intros, music, titles, transitions, effects, stickers, and effects pack. In the media section, you can see this premium icon. To use this kind of media, you need to get the Effect Store subscription, but there are plenty available to use for free. If you need more, you can get the subscription. While using the Movavi video editor for three months, one thing I have realized is that they have effectively managed advanced features. You don't even realize that you are using such features due to its simple interface. That's why I say Movavi is beginner-friendly video editor. Not only it is easy to use, it is very light on the system resources. The minimum system requirement is so low for this, but might need more as you increase the quality of the video you are editing. 
I am testing it on my machine, which has an Intel i7 12th generation processor, NVIDIA RTX 4060 graphics card, backed with 24 gigabytes of RAM. However, you don't need these specifications for it. You can even use it on an 8 gigabyte RAM machine, which has any dedicated graphics card without any lag. You can see the running instance of Movavi Video Editor on my machine is consuming less than one gigabyte of memory. Overall, Movavi Video Editor is a great choice if you want something that's easy to learn and doesn't require hours of tutorials. I got comfortable with it in just a few hours and was able to start editing right away. It's perfect for beginners or casual editors who want quick results without getting overwhelmed. And here's a bonus, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on expensive video editors, you can grab Movavi's lifetime version at 50% off using the link in the description below. It's a solid deal for what it offers.